We just finished the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford final press conference. Tensions got a little high, trainers going at it, camps going at it. But we spoke to both Errol Spence Jr. and his trainer, Derek James, about what the hell just happened up here. It was intense. Hey, Errol, we know what it means when you wear Air Force Ones. He had on Air black Air Force Ones, too. What that mean for the fight on Saturday night? He's just copying me. Like, I'm the guy that wore, wore black Air Force Ones. Even my last fight, I had black Air Force Ones, the whole what's called it. So he really just copied out what I got. He seen I was rocking black Air Force Ones all week. So he caught him some black Air Force Ones, too, you know what I'm saying? So, we, we talk about the tensions go high, but you've been able to stay level-headed through this whole thing. So... Is it just the focus on the fight, or what, what happened out there? You see the trainers are going out, are you trying to chill? Oh, uh, that's just how I'm just, how I'm into me. I am. Like, I don't talk too crazy or get out of line or say something, you know, too disrespectful unless, you know, somebody's just coming at me, you know. So I just stay with my normal self and just chill and just watch them. But if somebody say something to me or say something to my family, then, you know, I, I might get out of line. But other than that, it's not too much stuff that's going to make me get out of line. Is Bud getting a little too emotional? Because it seemed like he showed a little bit of chinks in the, in the facade today. Um, He definitely, he wears hard on the sleeve. He knows who wears hard on the sleeve. That's even in a fight. You hit him with a great shot, and he want to hurry up and get it back. So that's just how I am. He, this is how he is. He's a real emotional guy. What happened out there? Were you surprised that Bomax started popping off the way that he did? Hey man, that's insecurities, man. You know what I mean? Are like you insecure? You facing somebody who been, they've been telling you that they're better than you his whole career? What do you think you gonna do? How you think you gonna feel? I mean, like you like oh, this guy? You know, you're not better than me. I'm like, no man, it's three of y'all, it's four of y'all. What are you talking about? Are you for real, man? You know, you like, you like, it's not even the same thing. But it, it's okay though, because I mean, it's life. Now, we saw the camps are getting into it, families are getting into it. Tensions feel really high, but how has it been with your camp? Is, does this feel like the most intense moment because the fight is drawn near? No, I think it's just, it's just um, I think they will be like that if anybody. I think I'm sure Crawford people get on people in, in press conferences or whatever. And I'm sure that maybe, you know, I haven't seen Errol family talk, but, I mean, you know, you just never know. I think it's just the, the level of this fight and what this really means. For you in terms of preparation, because, yeah, the fighters have to fight, but in terms of preparation, have you seen Errol more prepared than he is in this particular fight ever before? Hey man, I'm soaking my elbows and shoulders and everything, so he's, he's, really, he's really doing his thing. So we'll see how much he turns and rotates. Technique, it's about technical skills, how much that comes into play.